All right, we're going to look at the game theory behind penalty kicks in soccer. We'll see that there's no pure strategy Nash equilibrium, but there is a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Let's define pure strategy. A strategy that a player plays with certainty. A mixed strategy, a player who randomizes her strategy, sometimes playing one strategy, sometimes another. So in this payoff matrix that describes penalty kicks in soccer, we have a goalie who can dive left or dive right. We have a kicker who can kick left or kick right. And we're going to assign the winner of the penalty kick one point and the loser zero. And so, for example, a kick left and a dive left means the goalie stopped the ball going into the net. And we'll assign the goalie one and the kicker zero. Um, on the other hand, a kick left and a dive right, the goal scores, will assign the kicker one point, the goalie zero points, and then likewise down here, a kick right and a dive left, the goal uh, is scored, we'll assign the kicker one point, the goalie zero, and in this last cell here, the goalie stops the ball going in the net by guessing right uh, when the kick goes right, the goalie dives right. Uh, there is no dominant strategy for either the kicker or goalie, so therefore there is no pure strategy Nash equilibrium. There is no pure strategy Nash equilibrium. For example, from the kicker's perspective, neither row dominates. Yeah, one is greater than zero here, but on top, one is greater than zero down here, so uh, we don't have a dominant strategy for the kicker. Likewise, for the goalie, neither column dominates for the goalie. One is bigger than zero, but here zero is less than one. So there is no dominant strategy for either player, and therefore we can say there's no pure strategy Nash equilibrium. So that's going to lead us to mixed strategies, where uh, sometimes a goalie will dive left, sometimes right, sometimes a kicker will kick left, sometimes a kicker will kick right. So let's look at that. So there is going to be a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium here. A and this is what's going to happen is that players are going to randomize their choices. A kicker will randomize between kicking left and kicking right. The goalie will randomize between diving left and diving right. So let's think about finding the mixed strategy equilibrium. Suppose the kicker kicks right 80% of the time. This is not going to be a Nash equilibrium. Why? The goalie will dive right 100% of the time and win 80% of the penalty kicks. The kicker's not going to be happy with this situation, losing 80% of the penalty kicks. So the kicker is not playing their best randomized strategy uh, in this scenario. The kicker can do better. So what would the Nash equilibrium be? The kicker kicks right 50% of the time, and the goalie dives right 50% of the time. Neither player can do better by changing their strategy given the strategy of the other player. So with 50-50, uh, neither player can change your strategy uh, to try to win more of the penalty kicks. And when we talk about 50-50, this, uh, this is randomized, so it doesn't mean the kicker's going to kick left, and now the next time the kicker's going to go right, and then the next time the kicker's going to go left. No, this is complete randomization, basically you know, flipping a coin before you kick the, the soccer ball. If it turns up heads, okay, I'll kick right. If it turns, uh, turns up uh, tails, I'll kick left. And essentially, the goalie would do the same thing. So um, that would be technically the Nash equilibrium, mixed strategy Nash equilibrium in this game. Um, another game that I'm thinking about, a popular game, is rock, paper, scissors. There is no pure strategy Nash equilibrium in this game. So you know, a dominant strategy is not always to play uh, scissors or to always play rock. This game, however, does have a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium where you would randomize uh, your uh, three strategies. One third of the time you would play rock, one third of the time you would play paper, and one third of the time you would play scissors. All right, I uh, hope you found this video helpful.